Swim under hook. Once you get the under hook over here, so I feel if I try to put a pressure back over here, sometimes I'll lose the position, that's for sure, right? Keep going, Jake. <coughs> going, keep going, and then I keep fighting, fighting, fighting here. You grab my leg and take me down, and it'll become a scramble. So I want to hold him in side control, right? But once he start to create right the space, so what I need to do here, I have to switch my sub jack over here. That's the intention, right? Why? Because I'm gonna keep fight against him, right? His leverage. So when he get under hook, what I do here by pushing his collar with my thumb, I gain time to bring this arm. I have to switch my hips over here. If I don't switch my hips, once he grabs my leg, I'll drag him up and then he'll take me down. Okay? So once, once he grabs here, I switch my hips. If he keep holding, he'll hurt his shoulder, right? It's painful for him, he has to let go. Then I'll get in side control again. Thumb in again. So Jake's going to do again. So once he pushed me, get an underhook. Look, I keep pushing him, come up Jake. He can't, then again time, post my hand on the floor, step my leg, switch my hips, and get to the other side. Again, Jake, please, Hold one. By holding, look at this, I'm holding and try to put this pressure over here. Now again time, wizard, the back of my hand goes behind his head, post my hand on the floor, and remember this detail over here, I have to switch my hips. If I don't switch my hips again, I'll drag him on top, and now it's going to be scramble again, right? So before that happens, I'm gonna switch my hips and get inside control. You guys get it? That's easy.